Hey guys, today I wanted to make a video showing you my process to create a simple stylized roof and then texture it with an hand painted hay texture. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do in Blender is simply create a Bezier curve. Then we go into edit mode and delete the vertices. After doing that, we press 3 on the numpad to switch to orthographic mode. This way we're gonna constrain our curve. Then on the left, you can pick the draw tool and simply draw out the profile of your roof. Once you create your profile, you can go in and start messing around with the points and simply pull them around with a move tool, rotate them, or just grab the handles and stretch them around until you're happy with the result. If you want to create extra points on a curve, you can simply press E on the extremity of the curve to extrude an extra point or just subdivide two vertices to create an extra one in the middle. Now that I'm happy with how my profile looks, I'm simply going to go into the modifier and add a screw modifier. And this is going to revolve our whole curve around and create a mesh out of it. And you can see that in the steps for the viewport, you can modify how many segments uh, the curve revolves. If we now go into object and convert to mesh from curve, we'll see that there is a problem with the topology. And this is caused by the fact that the curve is not aligned with the pivot point. And this creates a very messy kind of topology, which is not ideal when you're doing game models. So what we're gonna do is simply go in, select our curve, and then set origin geometry to origin. This is gonna push our curve to the center of the canvas. And then we go back into edit mode, grab our curve and then move it to regain the profile that we had initially. This way now, if we go in and convert the curve back to a mesh, we're gonna see a much cleaner result. And this makes it very easy to then decimate the result and just get a lower polygon uh, result from this. Just because we have a cleaner topology to work with Okay, let's now take a look at the texture. I'm starting here with an abstract texture I created a while ago, and this simply helps me throwing in some random colors and just get some variety of hues. Now I'm trying to create the shapes of my hay. And you can see here, I'm not sticking to a particularly straight and realistic hay. I'm giving it more of a flow and stylistic uh, movement and this could also be used as fur as well because it kind of has the same vibe and after I block out this initial shape and color I save it and break it into 3D coat because with the tiling plane of 3D coat, it's very, very easy to fix the tiling and make a nice texture instead of trying to use other tools like Photoshop offset. Um, this makes it so much easier and better to create a tiling texture. And from this point onward, I will simply switch between 3D coat and Clip Studio Paint to keep refining the texture and fixing issues with the tiling. To do this, you don't even need to save the texture uh, and then do we import and export. From 3D code, you can simply edit either the projection into an external editor that you can set in your preferences, or you can edit the texture itself. So it becomes very, very easy to just keep painting and checking the tiling without doing 
too much crazy import export. And you can see now the tiling is working pretty well, but I wasn't super sold on how it looked because it was very, it looked a lot like a fur. So I decided to add some occlusion to give the texture some sort of layering to make it look more like hay. And here it's just a matter of refining this occlusion and softening the transition a little bit to make it not as sharp. And here we go, the texture is pretty much complete. It's ready to be used on our roof. Okay, let's jump in Blender now. Here I'm simply doing the UVs, which are also known as the most fun part of 3D modeling. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you see I set up the, the texture um, that I painted, so I'm just testing the tiling and moving the island just to see the scale of the model and here i brought the texture inside of photoshop and i'm gonna create cards to break the silhouette of the roof so you see me just erasing some parts and this will be the protruding bits that i will just use for that very purpose As you can see, I just used the knife tool to cut out different shapes and then place the cards on the roof after adding a few subdivision to modify the shapes and give them a little bit of curvature to fit the angle of the roof. I feel like this process is pretty important when doing this kind of stuff because if you just leave it with the default edge it's gonna feel kind of natural because it's gonna be a sharp cut so depending on the material you have on your mesh it's gonna be important to either use cards to expand and break off that edge or if you have a unique piece you can simply do that within your texture using alpha so overall the texturing process ended up being very simple we just used a single tiling textures and cards created from that texture to just apply them on our model based on the simple UV squares that we scaled to decide the size for that texture. So pretty easy, right? And here we are. This is the final result for our hay roof. Again, if you have any questions or if you have any topic you'd like me to explore, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time.